There is something for everyone in the Volkswagen Group, from Skoda to Lambo. The problem is that models from different brands start to overlap increasingly. I mean, why on earth do you still need a Seat, a Leon, ST? I have a problem with this car because although it slots somewhere between the Skoda and Volkswagen, it doesn't offer anything new. Okay, it's got nice headlamps. The interior is Skoda quality, but it lacks the simply clever touches. The boot is very well thought out, like in a Volkswagen, but smaller. Seats fold flat with a pull of a lever, and if you want more space, you can lower the boot floor, or hide the boot cover underneath it. There's plenty of headroom and legroom in the back. In the front, a thin steering wheel and a relatively high sitting position for a compact car. This is what I noticed when I got into the Seat Leon ST. Ever since Volkswagen introduced the MQB platform, uh, on which half of its cars are built nowadays, uh, I often hear Volkswagens, Skodas, Seats, Audis, they're all gonna be the same to drive. Not true. None of the VW Group cars I've driven so far lacks emotions like this one. Back in the day, Seat advertised its cars with Auto Emotion slogan. Today, I feel a bit of the Spanish crisis, but no emotion. Of course, this car gets me from A to B and it's quite economical while doing so. This car uses between 6, 6.5 six liters per 100 kilometers, which is pretty good. This is with the 122 horsepower 1.4 TSI engine. But I get more feedback from my game console than from this car. Reaction to the gas pedal, it's not even 0, 1, it's not binary, it's 0, half. The steering, well, it's got steering. The gearbox, well, it's light and it's precise, which is good, but the throw could be shorter, make this car more fun to drive. However, visibility is great. Somehow SAT managed to make thin A-pillars and still get a 5-star Euro NCAP rating. And while we're talking about safety, this car is equipped with the optional distance control system with emergency braking. I remember a couple of years ago, Audi was very proud when it introduced this system to its flagship A8 limousine. So I guess being a member of the Volkswagen Group pays off. Seat Leon ST is attractively priced unless you want a bigger boot and can't resist a Skoda. Even with optional equipment, this car can easily compete with Honda Civic Tourer, although it's not as engaging to drive. While you're here, watch my other reviews of compact estates, as well as other cars. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe to my channel. New videos every Friday. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Google+. You'll find the links in the description below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.